All right, guys, welcome back to video number 20. In this video, I want to talk about uh, get element by ID, which is a JavaScript method that is more common than probably the rest of them. And let's go ahead and create an example. So let's go ahead and create a mini little function. So right up here in our head tags, let's have uh, create some script tags. And we'll go ahead and create a function and we'll call it village park and put it in camel case and uh, no parameters. And we'll create a variable and we'll call it VP. And this is where we're going to use our uh, JavaScript method. So we'll call it document, not document write, but document get, nope, all camel case, element by ID. And we'll call this should work again in camel case. And this grabs our element with the correct ID attribute, but it only calls the first element for this specific element. It, it only calls, I'll go ahead and It'll make sense when we go ahead and create uh, the code in our body paragraph. So just go ahead and follow along. We have a very we have a variable equal to document get element, get element by ID, and let's go ahead and close that out. And what do we want to do in our program? We'll we'll just go ahead and create an alert message, and we'll say alert. Uh, grab our variable and concatenate on inner HTML, which is a JavaScript property that. It's used to get or replace content inside our HTML tags. We need to go ahead and create some content uh, inside our HTML tags in our body. So go ahead and just make sure you guys have the correct code right now. And let's close this bad boy out. Just like that. Now down here, we need to create a text or a button. I'll just create a button. Nope. Button. An ID. So get element by ID. We're not, we're not using get element add class. We're using ID. So don't have class that's not going to work your code's not going to render and you're going to have a meltdown button id equals should work and we got to go ahead and call our function so we'll say on click which is an event handler let's go ahead and call village park make sure you include our parameters even though we don't have an argument in there we still need to do that and we'll call it We'll call our button release, release, release the hounds. Close out our button tag. So we should have a button, and when we click on it, it's gonna have, it's gonna get get element by ID should work, and it's gonna spit out release the hounds because this is what our inner HTML refers to. Whatever's inside here is what's gonna spit out in our alert box. Let's go ahead and save this, and let's open this up with a browser. I'm going to go ahead and use Safari and release the hounds. Boom, it worked. So we used the correct element by ID. Like if we had anything here spelled wrong, if we had, I mean, you could put anything in here. You could put like my name is CH and your alert box is going to come out, but it had nothing to do with that program that we just wrote. So let's go ahead and reload this. My name is CH. Well, that's great, but that's not what we care about. That's not what we're here for. We're, we're trying to grab an element and then use it in a program. And uh, we got to go ahead and use the code that we had before. So let's go ahead and reload this and we'll save it. And it should work again. VP, enter HTML. Nope, that isn't right because we have double quotations right here. It's not a string, it's a variable concatenated to a property. Let's go ahead and reload this. Nope. Release the hounds. That's what we're looking for. So keep in mind that the get element by ID method, it only accesses the first element. So if we had this exact code, we'll copy this and we'll have a break tag and we'll copy this and we'll say second release the hounds. Well, only our first button's going to work. Our second button's not going to work because get element on get element by ID method accesses the first element and we have two of them right here with the exact same we're calling it the exact same way it's got the exact same ID with the exact same function on the on click but it's only going to do the first one so it's going it's only going to spit out release the hands so let's go ahead and reload this second we'll click on this nothing should happen release the hounds Okay, it's been back the first one. Okay, I was wrong. I didn't think anything was going to show up. Okay, so it spits back 
the first one. So if you put these in reverse order, let's go ahead and try this up here and save it now. When we load it, it should say second. Release that. We just got so much going on. Okay, get rid of this. Save that. Let's reload it. Now we click on release the hounds. Second release the hounds. And this should have second release the hounds too. Okay, so it, it, it will work. It will call it. Whatever you call up here. We added an alert box for this example. But it only is going to go with the first thing in the DOM. Remember the DOM top to bottom. Left to right, top to bottom. The same way we read a book. Okay, guys. Hopefully this made sense. Um, this, one, this video went on way too long. And uh, I actually learned something new in this video too. I thought the the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth elements that were going to show up, uh, nothing would happen. But they still work. They just spit back the first element um, specified. All right, guys. Good luck. I'm out of here. Later. Have a good night.